good morning you guys happy happy friday it's friday it's friday whoa hey yeah it's friday y'all know y'all already know i love friday me and friday best of friends best of friends <laughs> I hope y'all can hear me because I got this fan pointed directly at me, like sitting right up on me because I am hot. It is 7.41.47. I'm coming to y'all quite late today. Um, I got up early, about 5 this morning. I took a hot bath because my legs are cramping up. They back down. Uh, my alarm went off. Well, I got up before the alarm went off, laid back down, the alarm went off, and then I laid back down. <laughs> I was just tired, y'all. And I went to bed early. Um, so I did get up and, you know, I cleaned up, washed dishes, swept the floor, wiped down some walls. Like, I was doing a bunch of stuff, right? And I don't know, like, I had to tell myself, okay, stop. Because not once did I even look to see what time it was. Um, so I made my coffee today, y'all. Uh, kind of overdid it. I hope I don't waste it. Um, because I had made it, I could tell it was too strong. It was super dark. So I put extra uh, cream in there. So it kind of almost overflowed. Look how it's rocking. <laughs> so I got the vanilla cream and my uh, whipped cream in here as well. So good. So good, so good, so good. My coffee is so good. Ah, anyway, guys, I hope you have a, a wonderful week. It's been a busy week. It really has. Um, so much is going on up here. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's been a busy week. Um, I'm so happy that it's Friday. But at the same time, it's like... I'm trying to figure out, okay, where I'm going to get my rest at. <laughs> when I get off work, today is donation day. You know, and then I'm going to be tired. I'm going to be wore out, okay, after that. Then Saturday, I need to get up really early to get my car to the mechanic. I wasn't able to do it throughout the week. And, like, I probably could have had the boys do it, but... I don't know, I feel like I need to be there um, because I really need to talk to him about what can I do now and what can I hold off on. Like now I know that I have to have an oil change. That's a must, okay? Um, so I'm going to say that's, you know, about 60 bucks to get all the stuff and then pay him to do it. Um, and sure, I probably can get it done somewhere else cheaper, I, I, whatever, but I have a mechanic that I love. The guy is awesome. Um, but my main thing is, as far as the front is concerned, um, stuff has to be repaired. So I need to know what can I repair now to keep it functioning as good as possible, and then what so that until the next time, you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, <laughs> I, I just, just, it is what it is. You know, it has to be done. I cannot keep putting it off because then it gets worse. And then I have to have uh, my exhaust. You know, because it sounds like, almost sound like there's something wrong with the muffler, but it's, it's not. It may be a hole somewhere. Um, so that needs to be fixed. But that's not a priority right now, honestly. So... My coffee is not as hot as I would like it to be because I kept doing a bunch of stuff. Anyway, guys, yeah, it's Friday. I'm glad that it's Friday. Um, yesterday, I watched the latest episode of Attorney Wu. It was good. It was quite interesting. And it does, there's a good point, you know, can a person with autism love you know, yeah, there, there are so many different levels or types of autism. Just like there's so many different levels or types of people. There are different levels and types of disabilities. 
you know, you can have five people with the same disability, but a different type, or should I say different level, a different extreme. You know, some people, the disability may be um, higher or greater than the other person, like in her case. And so do they have the ability to love? Do they know what love is? Do they know what it means? Do they have the ability to have a physical relationship? You know, would they understand that? Um, and so that was pretty much what this episode was about. You know, another autistic young lady um, with a rich mom, rich background, who the mom seemed to don't like men. Um, and you know, sometimes parents put their negative off on their kids. And long story short, she met a guy and yes, he's not the best guy. She's aware of that. The girl herself, she has autism, and she knows he's not the best, um, meaning like a gigolo type. But she likes him nonetheless. And um, she consented to a physical relationship. Um, but the mom feels like it's rape because her daughter has autism. Um, so they were trying to, they were defending him because he says it was not. He, he says, I care about her, she cares about me. And um, the, the autistic girl, she wanted the lawyer, his lawyer, to meet her at a, a restaurant or something, I forget. Long story short, she was asking them, please, you know, defend him, please don't let him go to jail, da 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 da. And they were like, if you don't want him to go to jail, then why did you say that he, you know, did what he did? And she said, my mom told me to. And they were like, why? She said, well, my mom don't like men. You know, um, so I get both sides. I get mom's side as well because when they put the daughter on the stand, when she was constantly asked questions and put in a, um, a stressful situation, um, she couldn't handle it. And when she, they had a good point, they asked her, the, the, the lawyer asked her, when you was with the guy, when you came home, he texted you, make sure you was all right, you guys had a nice conversation, da, da, da. She was like, well, how did you feel? You know, she was like, fine. She was like, well, um, she has a, a tendency, I guess, when she gets stressed of scratching her hand. You know how some people do this, and, you know, she has a tendency of scratching her hand. So when she got back from being with him and she's in her room, she just, she scratched her hand to the point it was bloody and bleeding and her mom had to take her to the hospital. So she started to scratch in court because they were stressing her out. So they are like, if everything was fine, why were you doing that? She couldn't really answer. I feel like her answer had to do with her mom. I think she was stressed because now she's worried about what her mom's going to say, think, and do. What her mom's going to feel. That's what I think. Um... I, you know, I honestly do, you know, um, but again, it's, you know, it's hard to tell. It's like, honestly, it's a damn good question. And in my opinion, it was a damn good episode. Do they have the ability to love? And I believe they do. I really do. I, I honestly do. I, I do feel like some of them, um, the type of autism that they have may prevent them from feeling and doing certain things, but they still have feelings you know what I'm saying so it's that's ooh, that's deep <laughs> that is so deep y'all I'm not gonna talk to you guys long because I do have to go ahead and get ready for work um, but I also wanted to share with you guys um, like I told y'all my daughter wrote a book okay so actually she wrote a couple of books and so yesterday she sent me fourth one that she's working on she sent me um part of it to read and i have to tell y'all i didn't i was really into it yesterday was thursday so correction she sent it to me wednesday i didn't read it until thursday and so i'm reading it like i'm like okay this is good like from the start it was good um she put a prologue in there and that caught your attention it was like okay what's going on you want to know more and then as you continue to read it was like oh and I was like wow that was really good 
So I let her know it was good. It was only two mistakes that I saw, like typos, and she quickly corrected those. And then she was like, I have chapter three for you. I'm like, okay. So last night, after I watched Woo, I was I was going to just, you know, chill and go to bed. But I was like, you know what, let me go and read. Let me just go ahead and read it. So I did, and it was a, it really was a twist. I wasn't expecting what I read. Um, I was like, oh damn. Um, and I think she finished the next one, uh, four. So hopefully she did. I'm not sure. I'll check this morning. If she did, I'll read that today, um, four. And I like the fact. I like reading stuff that's not too long. I like reading stuff that gets to the point. Um, but not too quick, you know what I'm saying? So for me, this particular book that she wrote so far is perfect. Um, the very first one I read was also good, but for me it was a bit long. And it's not even over because it leads into other books. It's like one goes, like almost like Harry Potter. Um, so it's really good so far. I'm, I'm really looking at, you know, see what's the next step and then the, the first one she wrote where she left off at um, I was waiting to you know pick up from there and she said she had already sent it to me a while ago and I don't remember getting it or anything so I told her to resend that um, so I'm going to go ahead and check that out um, got a little chilly there <laughs> let me go ahead and check that out because I really want to know what happened that first one left off with um, uh, the main character being kidnapped, you know, and I mean kidnapped and abused, and she was kidnapped by, it was crazy, <laughs> so I really want to see what happens next, and I hope that she gets these books out soon so that you guys can enjoy them, so that I can share them with you on my, um, we'll share a little bit with you, like maybe we can do, um, book reading or, or uh, we can sit and talk about it you know because I enjoy them like I'm like uh, you know <laughs> she's a damn good writer you know she has plenty of talents like the girl she's an artist I think she gets that from her dad more so than me I can draw but my drawing is and my dad can draw my drawing is more like I have to look at something you know, and constantly stare at it, erase, you know, that way. Whereas her dad and she can look at something and it's there and then go back later and draw it. I can't do that. I have to constantly stare at it and, you know, get it down. But I'll get it. <laughs> um, and I took a, a, a class in summer school and it was through the mail, actually, drawing so that I could help uh, graduate a year early from high school and I did I graduated a year early I'm glad I did because high school wasn't for me <laughs> I just I did not like being in high school only thing I liked about it was playing basketball I didn't like I just I didn't it was just too many people too many different personalities I mean it just wasn't me um, and that's just the way I've always been um, I've gotten better over years, over time, I've gotten much better. Different situations that you're thrown in, different jobs, you have no uh, choice but to get over it or, or to deal with it, you know, and, and I've gotten better, honestly, I've gotten better, kudos to me. Anyway, you guys. Enjoy your Friday morning. I hope you said your prayers, not just for yourself, not just for your family, not just for your loved ones, but for all our brothers and sisters in Christ, okay? Um, remember to treat people the way you would expect to be treated. And until, and until maybe the next time, I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Enjoy your Friday morning. Bye. Woo. Hey, guys. Happy Friday morning. Early, late morning <laughs> I'm on my first break of the day 10.30 break It's pretty busy So for all I had was my two cups of coffee For breakfast you guys So what I'm going to have like food wise Is a boiled egg Now let me tell y'all Y'all know I eat my boiled eggs Hot With butter Salt and pepper right I don't know the last time I just ate a boiled egg by itself. I got a little uh, salt on it. I was going to say sugar. 
I have a little salt on it, but uh, man, <laughs> I'm used to it, you know. My aunt Denise, oh, I love her so much. She used to make us boiled eggs when we were younger, and that's how she made them, and it's always stuck with me. Um, some people put seasoning salt on theirs, but I can't do that. Mm -mm. But anyway, yeah, sorry that was Jeremiah texting me. Mm. It's been a long time since I ate it this way. But, it's a bit healthier. <laughs> For sure. Without the butter and all of that, it's, it's much healthier. So, ooh, look at the sun. How you doing? Jesus, y'all see how bright that got? Lord. Jesus, are you, are you trying to tell me something? I I I, I welcome <laughs> I welcome the sun. We pull this down. She got bright. Lord. Okay, let's close you up too. Sorry guys, that's a little too bright, right? Okay, this is better. Anyway, thought I would just see how you guys' morning was going, right? Um, oh. And I have my water, y'all. I'm drinking my water, okay? I weighed myself on the scale this morning. I was 191. Stood out in the 80s yet, but I'm getting there, right? I'm getting there. Um, y'all know I had to paint them back black. <laughs> Hmm. Anyway. Okay. I think what happened was the clouds. That's why it got so bright. Like the clouds moved. Now the clouds are kind of back in front of the sun a little bit. So now it got back like normal. <laughs> or, or like dark a little bit. But anyways, guys, yeah, I'm not going to talk long. It is a busy mon uh, Friday. I was going to say Monday. Hear, hear that? Because it's busy. It feels like a Monday, but it's not. It's Friday. It's Friday. Y'all know how much I love Fridays. Um, I don't know if I'm going to see Lavelle today. I haven't heard anything. I hope so. I love when I have all my kids. There go again. The clouds must have moved. <laughs> Um, I love when I have all my kids, you know, in the same room. We have so much fun together. Like, we can hang out. We can crack jokes, make fun of one another, love one another, all of the above. You know, no one gets their feelings hurt. No one's mad about anything. You know, if there's something we need to talk about with one another, we talk about it and keep moving. I love that. I love it and it's just so much fun like we just we laugh we cry you know and you have to be able to laugh there's so much going on in the world and in our lives each one of us have so much going on in our lives that sometimes coming together and just laughing and crying and just it's part of healing <laughs> you know it helps you kind of keep moving uh, forward you know um, so anyway, I, I truly, truly miss that and having, you know, all my grandkids um, together, you know, just hanging out, having fun, you know. Anyway, guys, yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to share that. Um, so that's it. I don't have anything other than that to say. I am going to go ahead and get back over here and get ready to log back in. Um, so, yeah, hopefully the rest of the day will go by fast and it will not be super busy um and i have to admit you guys i have not read my bible at all this week not good i do have to take time to do that um hopefully i'll be able to get to church this sunday <sighs> i missed two sundays so hopefully i'll be able to get in there this sunday you know um God is good. Y'all know I say it all the time. I hope these glasses ain't crooked. 
if they are, if they are I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, and also, guys, I was thinking about it. I hope you guys don't mind when I be singing and stuff because that's just me. That's just, that's just me. Whether I sound good or bad, uh, most of the time I'm going to be singing whatever I'm talking about or, or whenever it just comes to my mind to sing, okay? And you may wonder why. I'll tell you why. I sing because that's my alarm. It's time for me to go back. Anyway, I sing because I'm happy, y'all. I am. Even when I'm sad, I'm happy because God is good. So I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Please enjoy your Friday afternoon. Um, we're not there yet. Somewhere is afternoon. So just enjoy it. And I'll talk to you a bit later. Bye.